it is probably the easiest thing in the world for us Orthodox to tell um, what we believe. Uh, not the aspects of how we practice this, but uh, what God we worship. Because when we get into theological matters, we can only talk about God uh, in negative terms of what he is not. Uh, the Orthodox do this to stay away from uh, idolatry, blasphemy, and uh, heresy. But the one positive aspect of God, the one thing that we can say absolutely about him, of what he is, is love. And that's probably the most simple thing. In our afterlife, we will be caught up uh, in the dance of love. God and his energies are love, and that's what permeates the universe. That's what gives it the extra hint glow. He created it good, yes, but when his energies came into this world, it's truly beautiful. And we see that in the incarnation. And it still resides because we're post-incarnation, but left with the Holy Spirit. This is the easiest thing. If heresy makes you stray from this. Now, mind you, love is very powerful. And you have very strong feelings about it, of course. But uh, as everyone would, as the church has. But when you get caught into something, uh, heresies or whatever, you need to just come back to, to the basic principle of love. And I see these horrible cults like Jehovah's Witness who will shun a fan, just hate a family member. I mean, the Amish tend to shun in a positive way. They love their child, but they they think shunning them is the last hope of salvation. I don't see that with the way the Jehovah's Witness operate. They have a very hard anger towards apostates. And I think that's sad. I know a Greek couple. They're uh, Greeks who were raised in Damascus, Syria. So they're from Syria, but um, they call themselves Greek. I don't know. Um, they are evangelicals now, and they're from Orthodoxy. And whenever I talk to them about Orthodoxy, they agree. They're like, oh, no, that's right. I'm gentle with them because I don't, I don't hate them, and I wouldn't hate anybody who, I mean, that's not how you deal with people. But there's something very strange about something that calls itself a religion and will actively scorn and berate uh, former members if one of your family uh, didn't believe in the same religion that you do, is that Christ-like to kick them out of the family to never speak to them? No, family is forever. It's and it's it's your eternal bond uh, while you're on this earth. When we drop the flesh, we don't know what goes on after that. It's not Mormonism. But while you're on this earth, you that is your family. That those are the only people you can't escape from. Uh, you're commanded to love them, even if you don't like them. And love isn't saying, well, I love them, but I'm just not supposed to associate with them and just have say, have nothing but badness to say about them. But say, oh, if they would return, I that's fine. But, you know, and then speak bad about them. Uh, it's just I had ran onto this today, and it seemed very ugly to me. Um, and I think the people, if they would just turn and look at God in the way it spells it out right in the Bible, God is love. Uh, but then they wouldn't be a cult, would they, I guess?